Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So in today's video, yeah I'm looking the same as how I finished the last one. It's because I'm picking up just starting a new video in the same day. Hope that's okay. So this video is going to be all about Christmas gifts. So if you're my friend in real life or if you're my family, please click off this video right now. This is not the video for you because it's going to spoil your Christmas present. So get out of here, please, okay? <laughs> if you want to come back and watch this after you get your gift, that's fine. But I don't want any gifts spoiled, okay? I've been thrifting gifts for everybody because for one, I mean, obviously it's cheaper. And then it's also like a lot more unique in my opinion. Like my style is very vintage, eclectic, thrifted, everything. So I just want to kind of like extend that out. And I feel like the challenge of finding things is kind of fun. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting to a point where I'm a little stressed because it's like a full week into December. I've only gotten gifts for a few people. Like I have a lot more people to buy for, so gonna be thrifting a lot like over the weekends and in the evening time i do have a few things that i can like start to wrap right now i honestly also don't have very many gift bags or like things to wrap with i should probably go get just like a roll of wrapping paper i think that would probably be the way to go but what i have right now honestly though is better in bags or boxes so with all that being said I'm gonna go ahead and jump into wrapping some things, but then I'm also going to take you guys along with me thrifting. I'm going thrifting tomorrow. I'm gonna try to hit up like a few thrift stores and knock out a few different people in one go. And then I also, oh my gosh, how have I not mentioned this? I also have been DIYing Christmas presents as well. I do that every year with my mom. I mean, we always make candy and we always bake together, but then we also always do like a DIY gift together and that way like she can give it to some of her people I can give it to some of my people and it's also like fun for us to do together in previous years you guys might remember that we have done soaps and as much as I love doing soaps like I really do and it's practical at least for me I find that like not everybody needs it or like uses it some people are like oh it's so pretty I don't use it and that's super sweet but it's like I'll keep making it more like they're honestly soap is really easy and it's very fun to do but yeah I just feel like I've done it for a few years in a row it's getting a little predictable not everybody uses it so I decided to switch it up this year and do wax melts instead which are even easier than soap I will insert the footage of that later but before we get too far into this video I did want to say that I am partnering with Ana Luisa again I'm so excited because I got my pieces for me in the last video that I partnered with them for Black Friday and they sent me all of the exact same pieces which was totally fine because I was really hoping that my next batch I could use as some Christmas gifts and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's have a little reminder of what they sent to me. I'm trying to decide, I think I'm gonna divide these up between like a few different people. The only challenge here is that like gold is so in right now and I don't really wear gold. I wear silver personally so like I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out like who wears silver but they sent me the cutie wavy little huggy hoops. These are one of my all-time favorites honestly. I just think they're like so unique and then I also got a pair of just like the regular tiny little huggy hoops and then I also got a pair of the little studs from them. These are so nice. I mean again I, I don't know maybe I'll throw all of the earrings in for somebody it just i have to figure out who i'm giving this to exactly but i know for sure that this last necklace they sent me another one of the heart like hammered necklaces with the little star cut out in the middle i'm gonna give this to one of my best friends who has very similar style to me she better not be watching this video but her name is gabby i just feel like she would like this and i know that she wears silver so this will be perfect and i'm definitely giving this to her. I don't know, I almost also want to give Gabby like the wavy hoops because I could see her liking those a lot and then I could do the studs and the huggies maybe for somebody else because those are really simple so those could go to like anybody and that's honestly why I love Ana Luisa's jewelry so much is like it's unique but it's also really like 
simple and dainty so i feel like you just like can't go wrong giving this to anyone honestly if you have somebody in your life that you're trying to buy something for for christmas highly recommend Ana Luisa of course because they not only have the super simple and like dainty everyday type of pieces but they do have more custom ones as well I talked about this in my Black Friday video that they've got like the zodiac necklaces they have the initial necklaces as well you can get like a little letter I've personally already gifted my best friend Monica a couple of pieces from them I got her an Aries necklace and the wavy hoops but in gold she wears both of those pieces seriously all the time she loves them so much so I mean it's high quality jewelry it's pretty affordable though at the same time it will last you forever make sure you click the link in my description or I'll also have it in like a pinned comment as well you can use my link and you can get a percentage off your order and Louise is just the best what can I say so let's get into wrapping I'm definitely doing these two for Gabby and I also have been picking her up a few VHS tapes while I've been out thrifting honestly I found all of these not the sirens. I found all of these in one trip at the bins, which I thought was awesome. So I'm going to be gifting her all three of these. I honestly, I, she might have the Blair Witch Project already, which if so, that's fine. She can just like give it away to somebody else. But Pulp Fiction, classic. And then Seven is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It might be my favorite, honestly. And then I'm going to throw in her Anna Luisa as well. I'm also going to give her some wax melts and some candy. And then if I find anything else like small that I can throw into her gift while I'm out thrifting this weekend, I will. But I feel like that's pretty solid so far, honestly. Yeah, no, that's not going to be big enough for her VHS tapes. I do have like this Bath and Body Works one that I've had forever. It's just like, this isn't Bath and Body Works. I do have this one. It's just a little bit bigger though. And I feel like this one's too big and I could use it ideally for somebody else so i think i will give her gift in the bath and body works bag i love gift bags honestly it's like so easy to wrap things that way because it's not really wrapping you're just throwing things in a bag i'm gonna use this cute pink tissue paper i reuse everything guys like seriously i mean why waste it you know okay so that's her present. I'm gonna stick this under my tree. The next thing, I am definitely getting more for him, but I found my brother this sweater. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was a size small, but it's a large. I think he's pushing an extra large because that boy is growing like a weed. I swear to God, he's getting so tall. Like he's almost as tall as me. I'm talking about my youngest brother, Zephyr, by the way. I found him the cutest red sweater. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, all those little dots on it are like really cute. Well, come to find out, it's a Lego sweater. I was just like, how cute. And especially for Christmas time, I mean, he'll probably only be able to wear this this year. Because like I said, he's growing so much so fast. But I just thought that this was so cute. My mom did actually literally just tell me yesterday that evidently he really wants a purple sweater. But not a sweatshirt, he wants a sweater. Because evidently purple is his favorite color. I didn't even know that sister of the year right here so i am gonna look out for another sweater for him as well and then i want to find him like some more fun stuff for now i thought at least you know i just saw this sweater while i was thrifting and it made me think of him and i was like oh i'm getting that for him for sure so that's at least one thing checked off for him i had a one of these like clothes boxes so i went ahead and put that in there for him i will like put like ribbon or something around that to make it cute i promise i'm gonna do the huggies on the studs for somebody else i just have to figure out who but i'm gonna go ahead and put it in this cute tiny little bag that i have i will eventually decide who that is going to <laughs> and then the last present that i currently have i found this super freaking sick coat rack for my dad he has a bar in his house and he also has like his man cave down in the basement i don't even know if my dad is like the biggest budweiser fan my dad does drink beer though so i instantly thought of him when i saw this i love the like brass hooks on it it's in like perfect condition the wood color is so beautiful i love the brass 
I love the style of like the painting on it. This was just like so cool. Like I th I saw this, and I instantly was like, oh, I'm getting that for my dad. Like that's perfect. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it was like seven bucks. So not bad at all. I think I'm gonna squeeze it into this bag just because the only other bag I have is this giant one next to me. So I'm just gonna make it work in here. I'll just have to be careful that this doesn't get knocked over. But this is the only other tissue paper that I have, so I need to like run to the dollar store and get some wrapping paper and also get some tissue paper. But that is my dad's present. Hopefully I'll find a better way <laughs> to keep that. That is everything that I have for now. That was a fun little gift wrapping sesh. So like I said, I will be taking you guys along this weekend to go thrift some more gifts because I still have quite a few people on my list. I have my mom, my stepdad, my stepbrother. I need more for my little brother. I need stuff for my other brother. I need stuff for my stepmom. I need stuff for Chris's mom. I need stuff for my best friend, Monica, and a few of my other friends. I'm gonna be keeping it really simple. Like I'm not getting a ton of stuff for everyone. So wish me luck, okay? I'm, I'm definitely stressed about it, but it'll be fine. I trust that the thrift gods have my back and that I will be able to find stuff for everybody. But, you know, worst case scenario, I at least will have the wax melts. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and insert the footage of us doing the wax melts now for you guys. And then after that, you will see me thrift some more and we'll finish the video off by wrapping a few more presents. I'm using wax paper to put these into the boxes. Alexa, pause. These are like just cardboard. I mean, they have like a little bit of a finish to them, but I'm just paranoid about these like melting. So right now I'm gonna do sugar cookies. These are like fancy little boxes. So I left these sitting out until they hardened and then I threw them in the fridge for like I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. I'm gonna see how they do with me popping them out. I really hope I'm not doing this all too soon. Wow, look at that, she wasn't wrong. That fits perfectly on the back. And then I don't even know like how many of these to do per box, honestly. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love the snowflakes. I feel like these are nice because you could totally put like a couple in at a time. How cute. Since these are so little, I'll do more of these. I don't want to dump them out, but I've got eight in there. And then we're going to wrap them in twine, I guess, and put the tags on to say who they're for. My first box of wax melt slay. I'm gonna go ahead and do these. Put you guys back on a time lapse. Keep listening to my Christmas music, but this is going very well. I'm very happy.
Okay, I'm trying to keep this video from being all time lapses and I'm home alone right now, so I figured I would take advantage of that. So we're melting right about a half cup at a time. And I throw them into the microwave for like 30 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds in intervals and like let this melt down until it's completely melted. I'm only obviously doing one smell per batch. I just did some in the stars and now I'm going to do some snowflakes of chocolate mint. So I'm going to do that and then I'm trying to match the coloring to the smell so that it makes sense. So I'm using the mica powder pistachio. This is what they look like. They remind me of little Dippin' Dots and I wanna eat them. <laughs> but they're like so like, not slimy, but they're just so like slick. So I feel like they kind of get everywhere, which is a little bit frustrating, but you have to work really fast with this stuff because it does harden like somewhat quickly-ish. So you don't wanna just like let it sit, like you gotta like get moving. So let me dump this in there. And y'all, I've already done so many. And we still have this much of the pack left. My mom ran out to get my brother from school and then she stopped at Joanne. She was so sweet and picked up even more of these. Evidently they're already pretty much out of their Christmas one. So she said she was picking up like hearts. I don't even remember. She's picking up like a few different ones though because I was doing like the Christmas trees because how cute are those and they kept breaking on me. I don't know if I just didn't let them harden enough but like all the little corners and stuff were kind of hard to pop out of the mold. So I put those back in the fridge just to see if that helps but these are all my discards so far. It makes me sad but you know this is my first time ever doing it so it's not gonna be perfect. Let me go grab that. This is what you want it to look like. Now, as for how much I add into this, this is actually easier than soaps because all you have to add is coloring if you want and a scent. So, I don't know. I just kind of shake it in there and then sniff it just to see how it's doing. I'm honestly really paranoid that I'm not adding enough because I feel like you really need a lot for it to smell. So I don't know. I just take a little stir stick and these colorings have a lot of glitter in them. So I also hope that that does okay. I've already popped so many out and like the coloring is definitely not super consistent throughout the whole mold, but that's okay. You know, they're handmade. People can't expect perfection from me, okay? You guys are gonna get the good shot. You ready? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I still have just a little bit left here. I'm gonna top off some of my stars. And then any that I didn't fully fill. It's really hard to do this, honestly. Especially in these teeny tiny little snowflake ones. I'm over here like, oh, is it full? I don't know. That's that. Those are my chocolate mint ones, but that's my whole process and then I just let them sit here and cool until they're hardened enough and then I throw them in the fridge and let them finish hardening. From the blog that I'm following online, it says to let them harden for like an hour. It's going pretty well. I feel like we've got a good system going and then while these are hardening, at least until like she gets back, I'm just like going back to doing the labels and folding the boxes up. So yeah it's going very well i just really hope that they turn out good and that they actually smell enough The following day.
Okay, elephant in the room before we get into this. I did dye my hair and it is cherry red and it's so beautiful. It looks different in like different lighting, especially if the sun hits it, it's like super red, but I'm obsessed. It was quite the process to get here and I promise I did film it for you guys. So that video is coming, but y'all, we went thrifting today and found so much stuff. I'm gonna show you guys everything because most of it is Christmas presents. Like I knocked almost everybody out today. I will admit I did get some stuff for myself as well. I mean, I, I can't help myself, okay? I'm gonna show you guys everything. Once again, if you're my friend or family, do not watch this video, please. I'm about to show all of the gifts that I got for people. We went to Savers and we went to Goodwill. I'm gonna start with home decor because I feel like that's the easiest. So some of this stuff I'm like on the fence about like, should I keep it or should I give it to somebody else? So if you know me, I love swans. And this one is the most beautiful, like purple burgundy type of color. I mean, it literally it matches my hair. I think I'm gonna give this to my friend Gabby though, because I feel like this suits her well. It's nice like for jewelry. She could put, you know, her rings or necklaces or something in there. And she likes a lot of the same stuff I do. So I'm hoping that this is like her vibe. And then I also found these candlestick holders that are a black iron that I just thought were so cool. They were only $2.99 a piece and I did find taper candles. So I was on the search for some deep red ones for myself uh, to decorate for Christmas and I did find them. They were $2.49, which honestly is kind of a lot for just two taper candles, but you know, it's fine. I'm so happy that I found these because it was exactly what I was looking for. And then, where are they? I also found these little white ones that were also $2.49. Like, come on, these are thrifted taper candles. Cut me a break here. But they're just, just like two little white ones. So I was gonna put them in the sconces and then whoever I give them to will have the taper candles and the sconce to hang up. On top of the taper candles, which honestly, I might put the red ones in here. I found Christmas tree sconces that were $3.99 for the pair. And they're solid brass. Like, shut up with the red taper candles in them. The, these are, like, really tall taper candles, to be honest. But, like, <laughs> I swear to God. I, for the longest time, have slept on looking at, like, the bags of things. And my best friend was like, girl, you need to look because you can find taper candles and stuff. And so I got this, like, grab bag. It was $2.99. I don't like anything in here except for the bells. There's like a garland. Actually, let's open it right now. It seems like it's like a little garland or maybe like a hang thing. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, cute. I could hang that on our door or just like on the wall somewhere. I just really like the brass bells. How cute. And then I also found this really awesome like iron candlestick holder it does have some green wax that i need to clean off of it but i just thought it was so freaking cool and it doesn't perfectly match but like it does kind of go with these so i was like i mean catch me walking around with a taper candle in this like it's honestly like perfect to hold so i just thought that was cool i have yet to decide if i'm going to gift this or if i'm going to keep it it was $2.99, so honestly, all of their home decor was priced so well. Also from Savers, this could be weird and potentially offensive to some people, but like the girlies who get it, get it with like coquette aesthetic and like Lana Del Rey and all of that kind of stuff, uh, Ethel Kane. I got another crucifix. Chris found me this one. It, I don't know what it's made out of. I think it's just plastic, but it kind of looks like stone to me. And it's got a bronze Jesus hanging on it. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna add this to my wall with my other two crucifixes. I actually found some silver ones as well, but they were still in a box. They were like $6 each and they were like a really shiny silver. And I was like, I think I'm gonna pass. So I'm so glad he had found this one. Cause I was like, that is the vibe. I also, I almost forgot. I got this really pretty brass dish on the bottom. It says it's from India. It has like some patina happening on it, but I just thought this little dish was so cute. Just a good little ring dish, you know? Again, I don't know if I'm gonna gift this or keep it. I'll see if I have a place for it or not, but I think like little tiny trinkets like this, especially when you get it for $1.99, is so good to like have on hand for Christmas gifts. I found this little horn. 
how cute is that and like perfect for Christmas I was just watching Exo McKenna's video and her and her mom decorate with these like brass horns and I was like and then I find one and it was a dollar ninety nine let's go and then I found these super cute little bells they're brass with heart cutouts like shut the fuck up bro and then I found this little silver tray, which again has some patina happening on it, but this was $1.34 for this little like, what what is this called? I have one on my coffee table right now actually, but it's more of like the silver. I like both brass and silver or like gold rather. This is probably more gold, I guess, but I like gold, I like brass, I like silver, I like all of it. I did find a brass angel, but it was like $5 or something. And then I ended up finding this little white one and this was $2.99. So I was like, I'm gonna get this one instead. This is a lot more of my aesthetic. And anytime I see something that is an angel, I have to pick it up. I literally can't help myself. And I find an angel every single time I thrift, which to me is like a sign. So I always get them. But y'all, I could not believe this. So if you guys remember, we got robbed back in March and had only all, all of our fucking cameras stolen. We're not even going to talk about it because it makes me upset, obviously. But we had thrifted like so many cameras over the years. We had been collecting them seriously for like six years and to get all of them stolen was so heartbreaking because it is not easy to like come across cameras these days. But today was a good day. We came across four and I got three. So we found this little Canon point and shoot. Yeah, it is. Okay, I was like, this honestly almost looks like a digital camera. $3.99 at Savers. It looks clean as can be. I was surprised it was in one of these little bags, honestly, and not like with all the electronics and stuff. But, whoa. That's crazy. Okay, it is film, but it's like bordering digital because it does have like a little screen on it. So, let's all hope that this works. Let's actually hope that all of these work. Um, at Goodwill, I found... A maroon point and shoot. How cute with my hair. Obsessed. We love. This one is also really clean. I just hope it works. You never know, especially with point and shoots. I mean, honestly, just surfing cameras in general. It's quite the gamble. And then this one was $5.99. It's a Canon EOS Rebel XSN. I don't know. I don't know much about cameras, guys. I'm a photographer I specifically shoot film like just for fun but I'm not like super into it or anything my boyfriend knows a little bit more about cameras but this one you can do detachable lenses also side note sorry for the dog barking that's a new thing but anyways this one is also like it's right at the end of when they were making film cameras and then kind of switching into digital so to have a good film camera that we can like swap lenses out on is so nice. So I'm like praying that this works, but this one was only $5.99. Like such good prices. Cause holy crap, if you go online to buy film cameras, forget it. And then I found two mugs. I got one for my dad. It says, when it comes to dads, you are number one. And it just has like the number one dad print all around it. I've gotten him mugs in the past. I love getting people mugs because I collect mugs and I have way too many. So it's always fun to like find them for other people. So I got him this. It's just a nice little like vintage mug. It's cute. We love it. And then for myself, I found the world's best boss mug from the office. Are you kidding me? And it has it on both sides. I love it. I am so upset. I literally was like, oh, when I found it. So happy. And then the last two home decor things we got are for Chris's mom. So I found her this super freaking cool, like window hanger or this could even go like outside i guess too i think what i'm gonna do is take the butterfly off of it because in my opinion it kind of cheapens it just a little bit just because like if you could feel this in person like i just like bent it i feel like it could break super easily i mean it's like cute but i don't know how much butterflies are her style but it has this hook like an s hook at the top and the butterfly s hooks on I think it's gonna be really easy to take the butterfly off of there and then just put the hook down there, you know, so that she can hang it and it just be this really cool spiral that has these beads in it that are gonna reflect rainbows for her. And she gets really great lighting specifically in like her like front windows. So I'm just like, 
this would be perfect for her it was such a good price and it's just like so cool and it's so her and then as you can see behind me we have a rug i don't really feel like rolling that out for you guys right now but i'll show you the pattern on it just a little bit i guess she's been talking for a long time about needing a runner rug and there is this like chunk missing right there that is kind of the downside of thrifting people things is that you know they're not gonna be perfect but it was such a good price it was only ten dollars and it's a long runner like i am pretty sure it's longer than our runner that we have and like the colors are so her i love that we were able to find her like a vintage rug rather than just like picking up a cheap one from like target or walmart or something like that i just thought that was so cool and it's like so perfect for her and chris was instantly like yeah we're getting that so so glad we found that i've had that in my mind to get for her for like a while now so I'm so glad we found that today and now i'm gonna get into clothes some of these are for people but most of them are for me i must admit so i'm just gonna pull them at random i think actually this pile is all saver stuff and the rest will all be goodwill but we'll see so i found this sweater all of their sweaters were honestly expensive as fuck um they were all like over ten dollars and this one was surprisingly only 6.79 for some reason but it's just like a really nice grandpa sweater it's got purple and orange and red on it and navy i just really liked the colors on it it looks like it's gonna have a really good fit for me it says that it has wool in it but it doesn't feel very itchy to me i figured i can also just like wear a long sleeve under it if anything but i don't know i always think this way whenever i buy things at thrift stores is like if i don't wear it i can sell it but i don't i try not to like shop with the intention to just buy stuff to resell so i will try to make this work for me but if it doesn't then it will be on my depop and i found myself a freaking green flannel it's perfect this is like exactly the type of green flannel i've been looking for for so long it is a size large so it's probably gonna be pretty big on me but like chris can also wear this if he wants it's just so good i love this more like checkered small plaid over like the typical plaid that you see on flannels it's like really big i don't know i'm like weirdly picky about my flannels so i saw this it was so good it was only 4.99 too they honestly had a lot of flannels there today it was like kind of popping off and then this is crazy i wanted to look because they actually had a whole row of just cardigans like it wasn't mixed in with the sweaters and i have really been in my cardigan era if you have not picked up on that but this one was 4.79 i literally had this exact wild fable cardigan saved on depop like in my cart i've been wanting like a good olive green cardigan that isn't a long one again i'm really picky with my clothes sometimes and with cardigans i like them to be a little boxy and like not go like past my butt and this one is that my only complaint is that there's no buttons on it and i really wish there were so i wonder how hard it would be to maybe put some on there but like it's fine look at her an olive green cardigan i'm so happy and then i found this beautiful slip dress it's very see-through so this one i'm also like i might keep it but i might put it on depop we'll see it's got like really pretty cross strap type of details it's a nice v-neck but look at this pattern y'all are you kidding that's such a pretty floral and it is my size so i have high hopes it was 6.49 just a little expensive for a slip but honestly all of their slips are expensive and then i also got this which was again also 6.49 come on it's a top but look at how gorgeous it is it's the prettiest like cream silky lacy little slip top i'm obsessed i love i really need to go back through my lingerie again because i definitely don't wear all of it but i never want to get rid of any of it i just love vintage lingerie so much and i can't help myself so uh moving along i don't want to make this haul part too too long i was in the little boy section trying to find something for my brother and i saw these pants and i was like oh those are some sick ass cargos like i don't know if he would wear them though so chris was like those look like they would fit you and i was like t they would i always get my pants in the little boys section and i feel really lucky for that because i know not everybody can like fit into kids clothes i constantly find pants in the little boys section that just fit me so good all of my camo pants are little boys and now i found these freaking like wide leg cargos they're high-waisted 
they're a thick jean material they're a nice like they're kind of a dark wash but they're really cool toned and the bottoms have like the perfect amount of distressing on them i cannot wait to try these on they're gonna be so good they might be like a little snug at my waist but like these are truly just like the most incredible carpenter type of like cargo jeans i'm obsessed and guys, normally I do not buy myself clothes like this, like in a thrift store, because it's so much more expensive than like, I find everything in the bins, you know, but it's hard when I find such good stuff and it's in my size. At Goodwill, I did a lot better at finding clothes for other people. So the first thing I'll show, I'm a little nervous about the color of this, but I got this like kimono robe thing for my stepmom. She loves like, japanese style art like this it is like a pretty bright pink color but i just thought it was so beautiful it's got like the pockets in the front it just made me think of her and it's one size so that was easy i you know i didn't really want to get clothes for other people because trying to like guess people's sizes can be really tricky but i went ahead and got that for her because i just thought it was so beautiful and it was only like five bucks so i was like why not and then I saw this at the last minute, but I got it for both me and Chris because I just really loved the colors of the stripes on this. And if you guys know me, I mean, I'm literally kind of wearing one right now. Any top that has like the buttons just right at the top. I'm pretty sure this style is called like a Henley. I just love them so much. And it's a thicker kind of almost like long john material. Like it's waffle knit, which is nice. I just love the colors and like... I don't know something about like my hair with olive green right now i already love olive green but now i'm like really into it so i got that for us i got these pants they're a size four so i'm not sure i mean i think they're a small the tag on the goodwill thing says a small but they're these really nice like button front super wide leg with the lace trim they're ribbed just some like really cozy looking lounge pants that are originally from asos okay it's really looking like i got a lot of stuff for myself too i guess i kind of did um this top is a medium so i'll have to see if it fits me or if i just end up putting it on depop we'll see but you know i gotta check the lingerie section guys so i found this beautiful like lacy mesh dress like how good would this be for layering especially in the summertime and then i like i said i'm very fortunate to be able to fit into like little kids clothes because they're so much cheaper i found this black mini skirt for three bucks it looks like it's gonna be a really good length on me i just love that it had the shorts built in I love a good skirt moment. And then I found a plaid schoolgirl skirt. Like, it's actually like a schoolgirl skirt. <gasps> no way. Oh my god. This is why I love kids' clothes. And I remember this when I was little. <laughs> it's so cute, right? It's like such a good plaid. I love pleated plaid skirts like this. Because sometimes like regular tennis skirts can feel really preppy. And yeah, like the schoolgirl thing, you know, whatever. Um... But I was a little worried this might be too big on me, but look at this, guys. Do you remember these from when you were little? Where they have these, like, adjustable things and you just button them to make them fit you? This is why I love kids' clothes. Because then if I get bloated, I can loosen it, too, which is nice. But really hoping that this fits me well. I found my brother two t-shirts. I'm on the search. He really evidently wants a purple sweater, but that's, like, not easy to find for some reason. But I found these really nice striped shirts, so I got him this, like blue striped t-shirt and i got him this one he loves wearing shirts that have like the long sleeves under them and the colors of this one reminded me a lot of chris and if you guys know my little brother loves chris to death they are two peas in a pod they are like best friends truly and anything that i'm like oh you can match chris or oh that reminds me of chris like he just he loves it so i got him this one it's gonna be big on him because it is an xl but, you know, the oversized look could be cool, and also he's gonna grow into it, because that boy is growing so fast right now. Oh my god, I am so jealous of this find, because I'm gonna give it to my best friend, because it's, like, so perfectly her. But if this was, like, at least even just a medium, I would keep it for myself. But, you know, I do, again, with, like, knowing people's sizes and stuff is, like, a little hard, but I do know, like, what my best friend wears, and I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. I hope she loves it as much as I do, I swear to God. It is a floral, super soft cotton, 
baby doll maxi dress. It has the pockets in the front there and it also ties up in the back. Shut the fuck up. I swear to God, I wish this was my size. It's so good. And I just know that she's gonna love this, honestly. So I need more gifts for her anyway. <gasps> that reminds me, I didn't finish showing you guys the home decor. What the heck? Um, since we're on the topic of Monica really, really fast, I'm gonna show you guys this that I got for her. She's been collecting these little like house teapots. And I found a Christmas one and the top, the lid thing like comes off at the chimney right there. It's so cute. And then, I also forgot to show these. I got both Silent Hill and Donnie Darko on DVD. Great movies. Um, and then Chris found a few little things as well. He got a Stone Tumble Pilot CD. He got this box that he said he wants to store like some fingerboard stuff in. But it has a really beautiful painting on the front of it. And then he also found this teeny tiny little thing. Anyways, back to the clothes. Sorry guys. Um, I found this really, really pretty black, like kind of lacy little tank top. It's a large and it's probably not gonna fit me, but I really like hope that it does cause it's so pretty. And it was actually half off of $3. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna get it. And if it doesn't fit, you know, you know the drill, it'll go on Depop, but I wanted to try it. Well, this is like not really clothes, but I did forget to show these. I finally did get myself some Christmas hand towels. So I got a plaid one and then I got this green one to keep folded over top of it. So it'll like layer on my stove like this. I'm so glad that I got some good Christmas stuff, but guys, as I was walking out, like we were walking to the line, I happened to look back at one of the racks that they like had recently put out. I caught the sleeve of this sweater and I actually gasped out loud and was like, <gasps> ran across the store. I found a fucking Coogie sweater. It's not actually Coogie brand, I don't think, but it's a Coogie sweater. Are you shitting me? I had to save this for last in the haul because I literally cannot believe I found one of these. I've been searching for years years literally since high school i've been hoping to find one of these sweaters in the wild and i did and it's neutral colors like it's not super ugly i mean these are like ugly grandpa sweaters for sure but you know what i mean like they're not like obnoxious colors so i just can't believe it i can't believe it it's so freaking good and i'm obsessed guys holy crap i spent girl math i spent 55 bucks on my card at savers and i spent 55 at goodwill so 100 bucks deep so far but i got a lot of things for a lot of people which i feel really good about so i'm super stoked i got to thrift some stuff for myself too which was awesome i seriously did check off like quite a few people on my list which feels really good i mean i at least have my friends covered now and you know of course i'm giving them like the diy gifts and i'm gonna also give people like candy and maybe some baked goods as well so I'm feeling very, very good. I'm super stoked on everything that I found so far. Anyways, <laughs> I am exhausted. So that's gonna wrap up the video. I don't have things to like wrap all of this as of right now yet, but I am not gonna drag this video on forever. This is already a very long video and it's been filmed over the course of like two weeks now. So I'm just ready to like get this out to you guys. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me thrift. I know I didn't really get a lot of content in the thrift stores, but I low-key like blacked out because of how well we did. And also I put half of my things back at Savers. I should have gotten a clip of like my piles of what I was not keeping and what I was actually gonna get because there was just seriously so much good stuff there. We went super early. We got there at like 10 a.m., which is probably like right when they opened and it was chaotic in there, I must say. People were being a little crazy, but it was so worth it because we found so many good things. Like I said, I checked off so many people off my list. What an incredible thrifting day. What the fuck? So thank you guys so much for watching this video and spending this time here with me. I hope it gave you some inspiration to DIY and thrift as much as you can for Christmas this year. But of course, if you need a good gift, 
make sure you check out Ana Luisa. The link is again down in my description and I will pin the comment as well. You can get a discount with them, but their jewelry is incredible. I'm obviously wearing a few pieces right now and I'm really excited to be able to throw that in with my thrifted gifts because it feels good to like mix in something a little bit nicer with my thrifted items. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me. I might have one or two more videos maybe before Christmas. I'm not sure. I'm like, I'm backed up on content again. I'm trying really hard to get things out to you guys. So just make sure you subscribe. I upload a little sporadically, but if you hit the notification bell, you will see when I upload. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I usually post on my stories whenever I upload a video. So anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.